<clears throat> Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Trails in the Sky. Second chapter. Let's see. Ah, that's right. We were making our way through the dungeon, and we already did backtrack to get all the chests that we missed up level, so yeah, everything from here should be new. They're just utility tunnels? I mean, I guess it depends on your perspective of uh, a dungeon. Yo, what's up, Warzag? Welcome to stream. Uh, I don't know if I should, like, be fighting much here. Wait, there's a split in the path here, right? Yeah, okay. No, god. It's an actual maze down here. EP charge? Strange. This chest had something before, at least. Hmm. Okay, that's done. That, uh, it's fine. Tear a bomb? There's nothing in this chest, but you imagine all the things that could have been. I think of that every single day. Hmm. Uh, I think I might have to fight. Never mind. So many chests down here, Jesus. Zeram powder. Look, I know you think it would be wonderful if we could all just loot infinite amounts of treasure from the same chest, but no. I guess if you had like a infinite item glitch in this game. Actually, are there any glitches like that in a Trails game? Reviving bomb. Check as many times as you want. Nothing will ever be in here again. I believe there was that problem with the Fallout 76 launch where people went into the dev room and then they just copied a bunch of um, items using an item glitch and sold them on the black market or something. I think that was a thing that did happen. I could be wrong though, it has been a very long time. And from what I've heard, Fallout 76 is a little bit better. <laughs> a little bit. Maybe that's being generous. I don't know. Hmm. Alright. You asked for this? Hmm. They sold it on the regular market? <laughs> the devs had no way to trace where the items came from? But, like, they're the devs. Shouldn't they have a, a way to do that? I don't know. Then again, it is Bethesda, so like, what am I even talking about? Does water work in you guys? Yeah, yeah, it works. Water and fire. Mm, maybe just in case. You never know. You only have the tools you put in the game. <laughs> yeah, true. Not like they put uh, much into the game, let's be honest. Putting a unique ID on every item would massively blow the database for a game intended to have millions of players. I guess that makes sense. I don't know any of the technicalities behind it, of course. But I just feel like the way they managed that was just horrible. I don't know. There's probably a better way to do things, but eh, it is what it is. Hard loafers. Pro tip, you can hide the body in an empty chest. I won't tell anyone what you did. Hmm. Not sus at all. I feel like the music might be a little bit loud, actually. What do you guys think? I'll turn it down a little bit. Oh, I already have it down. Holy banana beans. <laughs> After Oblivion? I mean, uh... I don't know much about Oblivion. Skyrim is okay if you mod it, but like... Mod it, right? That kind of defeats the entire purpose. Hmm... Which way to go? Okay. 
And to be honest, Starfield will... Yeah, we don't talk about Starfield. I feel so bad for everybody who's just genuinely interested in like a space exploration game. Like Skyrim in space, that sounds kind of exciting, you know? But uh, yeah, no. No, it didn't happen. You look at the chest. The chest looks at you. You both know that neither of you have anything left to give. I think it's time that we broke up, chest. I'm sorry. I'm not sorry for being up this bad, though. Earth and fire. Do I want to even use my EPs? Eh, I think I'm fine. These guys aren't that scary anyways. Attack! Ow. Oh, nice, we resist. Oh, come on. Take that. Vanilla Skyrim kind of boring. They don't acknowledge it. Uh, I don't know. I mean, back in the time when it was released, was it exciting? I wasn't there when it was released. I was only the ever. I only ever played that game with like a bunch of mods, and it was kind of fun. But yeah. I haven't experienced the actual experience of playing unmodded Skyrim. Found EP charge. You're... you're opening me again? Hee hee hee, how naughty. I feel like I've seen that line before in a doujin. Not that I read doujins. This seems to be the right before boss room. Hmm. Yo, what's up, Complain Bird? Let people enjoy the games they want? Oh, for sure. I just, uh, want everybody to get a good game, you know? That's actually worth the price that they pay for. I know that people enjoyed Starfield and, like, speaking of enjoying bad games, <laughs> there were people who enjoyed, uh, Cyberpunk, yeah? When it was released, even though it was kind of a... kind of a mess. Hmm. Doesn't mean they can't expect better. Or like games to actually be released when they're actually finished. Okay, I think we've gotten everything. I maybe missed something? I don't think I did though. Okay, yeah, that goes back to the treasure room in the back there. There doesn't seem to be a split path here. No. Well, there is a path down here. Did we already go down this way? Uh, yeah, we did. Okay. Ah! Oh no! I'm being ambushed by one bat! Oh, are we done already? Oh, nice! Let me check the levels. Uh, Chloe's almost about to level up. Okay. Ooh, quick draw two. Awesome. Hmm. Each game gotten less creative. I think it's kind of difficult to add on to a formula that's already been established, yeah. Uh, I forget what it was. I, I think we were watching... Oh, I was watching the Game Awards or something with Leo. And then we were talking about how to, like, innovate a FPS game. Like, every single gimmick, like the destructible environment and, like, the agent powers and whatnot... Like, it's pretty... it's a pretty set standard, so we haven't really seen anything new, and anything new that has been introduced doesn't really work. So yeah, just it's just difficult to think about. I suppose as a company, when you have that many people working for you, though, somebody might come up with a good idea, but... Mm. I do have something against people expecting me to praise games that I think are creatively bankrupt. Yeah, that is true. Hmm. It's kind of like forcing your opinions on others at the end of the, of the day. Like, sure, you can enjoy the things that you enjoy, but just don't, like, <laughs> be mad at me for not enjoying it in the same way that you do. I mean, it's kind of like a... Well, between me and pun here. Uh, I've been enjoying Persona 5. There are some parts of it that I don't really gel with, but... Uh, overall, my experience has been pretty good. But of course, Spun has his own opinions about it, and that's completely fine. 
because we're different people and have different experiences, you know? Hey! Who's that? Hmm. You have a shadow and are tangible, so somehow I doubt you're a ghost. I mean, the outline matches the ghost. Perhaps you'd be so kind as to introduce yourself then. Hmm. <laughs> Welcome, my guest, to my humble transient abode. You look like a character straight out of Code Geass for some reason. Yeah, yeah, you do. It's probably the hairstyle, to be honest. I receive you with open arms. Your host will not disappoint, I assure you. A uh, mask? He's exactly as you and Polly described him, Estelle. So then, you are the ghost who has been disturbing Ruin? Indeed I am, Princess Claudia. It is the greatest pleasure to meet you in person, at last. How do you know who Chloe is? Ha <laughs> ha, my pet, there is nothing. No item or secret, on this plane or above, which I cannot take. Nah, but I am uncouth, and have not introduced myself to my guests. Allow me then. <laughs> take a look at my full body sprite. I am Enforcer Number X. Number 10. I don't know how they would pronounce that. The mysterious gentlemanly phantom thief. Blue blank? <laughs> I I think I've horribly butchered this man's name. Ah, uh, that is to say, the enforcer number X of the Society of Ouroboros. Ouroboros? The Society? We live in a society, Shira. Phantom Thief B. Yeah, so it was the guy who was messing with us last game. Such murderous, withering glares. I assure you, they are not necessary today. The blue wank? Yes. <laughs> uh, it's pronounced like blue blah with slight nasality on the A. Blah blah. <laughs> I, you know what? <laughs> I'm just gonna leave it to somebody who could actually pronounce it to pronounce it. I'll just call this man Blue. How about that? Ah, uh, I am merely here to perform a simple, trivial experiment. Not even the slightest hair on my body has any intention of conflict with you. An experiment? Wait, that's... That's the black ornament Colonel Richard had. The gospel. Quite. Except, unless my eyes deceive me, that one is even larger than the last. Interesting. It is as he said, then. You already know of these. The gospel I hold is a new model, developed for the purpose of experiments such as this. Yo, what's up, Isaac? It has proven quite the aid in my test over the past few days. Test, what are you doing here exactly? What indeed. As they say, a picture is worth a thousand words. Allow me to show you in person! Maha! Oh my god, it's a ghost! Can I just call you Bob? Honestly, that would be kind of funny if I just called him Bob. <laughs> I'm not gonna do him like that, though. I'll just call him Blue. Better thanks to you? Aw, you're too sweet, Isaac. Yo, what's up, demon? This guy indeed has an exact part of his hair as one of the Code Geass characters. Uh, oh, Detard. Uh, I probably mispronounced that name. I do remember him. Um... I think he... Oh, didn't he have something to do with oranges? <laughs> right? I, I think he was the orange guy. And in the epilogue, he he started an orange farm, right? <laughs> well, I haven't watched the, the Code Geass Resurrection movies or whatever, where they 
they did their thing, but... Yeah, I just know up until the finale of the actual season. Seems to be a projection of some sort cast into the air using that device. I've never heard of such a device being invented. Naturally not. This is a hologram projector that we developed. Of course, the projector on its own can cast images a little farther than this, but... With the power of a gospel, one can do things such as this! Ah! Holy! Guacamole! I like how we all just turn around and do a 360. Well, wow. the concept is clear enough, I think. The good citizens of Ruin received a once-in-a-lifetime performance. They should be thrilled. Unbelievable. This whole thing has been for the purpose of creating a few pranks. Cut. Pranks? Such an insult to my performance! <laughs> it was a gift of enjoyment and distraction to a city suffering the stresses of a heated election. Can you not see the beauty of such a gift? Okay, I, I kind of get what you're doing, I think, but... Tell me, why did you do all this? Why did you scare so many people? What do you people? What does Ouroboros have planned? Ah, oh, but it is not my place to speak the mind and purpose of the Grand Master. Forgive me. Why, I myself am here, assisting in the plan. However, it's simple. I have come seeking an, an audience with you, Princess Claudia. What? Your beautiful pride, which was on such magnificent display when you brought justice upon the old mayor. I agree to participate in this plan, to claim that beauty for my own. Oh, I have awaited this day on pines and needles for months. You cannot imagine my joy. What? Uh, what? Uh, I... Justice upon? You mean what happened with Mayor Dalmore? Wait, how the hell do you know about that? I was a fly on the wall for that little event. Or perhaps, a shadow. Like, this, for example? Bacana! Dario Brando! You were in the Dalmore Mansion. That is a pretty neat trick, though. You just spin around and become a completely different person. A phantom thief is, in essence, a worshipper of beauty. We chase it. We covet it. And that which is prideful cannot help but captivate us. Princess, your pride has stolen my heart. Indeed, you have stolen the heart of a phantom thief! Ah, what sweet humiliation this is. Does bro have a humiliation kink? I mean... Go ahead, dude. <laughs> Pop off. I'm, I'm not gonna yuck anyone else's yuck, but this is kind of what it sounds like. My pet, how do you in intend to atone for such a slight upon me? Hmm... Uh, um... I don't really... <laughs> This is the speech that convinced me that P5 took inspiration from Trails? Uh... I mean... Maybe? What I do know is that P5 is, uh, more or less, basically Part 5 JoJo's, told in a different way. Such perfect self-absorption. Just like a certain someone I know, hmm? Oh, I beg you, do not compare me to... that. So you're an agent of Ouroboros. You aren't what I was expecting, but... If you're gonna try and hurt Chloe, I'm definitely gonna stop you! Hmm. A phantom thief who steals hearts? Uh, not exactly. Well, that goes for basically every Persona part, which kind of matches with a particular part of JoJo's. Um, there are certain themes and stuff that they take from each one, but there's a mixture of other things in there as well. 
<clears throat> kind of like the whole um, summoning persona thing from P3, being a reference to a particular scene in JoJo's Part 3. Estelle. Well, in accordance with the laws of the Bracer Guild, you are hereby under arrest and charged with intrusion and theft, among other charges. Mm. Mm. Referring to the Phantom Thief, you're talking about how Chloe has stolen his heart? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you. Mm. An earthquake just happened here. Oh, yikes. I hope, um... I hope things are okay over there, Isaac. Make sure to duck and cover if anything actually happens. We have a number of questions for you, including ones about the gospel. Please surrender quietly. Tut. How boorish. Arrest? Me? While it would be invigorating to have a little fracas. What does that even mean? I did choose this place for a reason. I shall allow him to be your opponent, I believe. What do you... Is it the giant thingamabob that we fought in the underground? What the? Hmm, I would say I have a bad feeling, but somehow, I feel it's too obvious. It's far too cliche of a line for me to say here. Roger that, Isaac. Glad you're good. Oh my god, this guy looks super shiny. Oh, it has four legs. I was about to comment about how it was running weirdly. What the heck is that thing? Some kind of armored centaur machine? Quite. It seems he was once the guardian of this place. The poor chap was half broken when I arrived. I repaired him out of the kindness of my heart, you see. Since he's here, I think he could serve as a worthy opponent. Don't you? You have to be kidding! It's coming! On your guard! Oh, come on! You even have to add the ads, too? Alright. Stormbringer. 13,000. Ugh. Ancient orbital weapon left in underground ruins releases destructive waves. Hmm. I could have a still attack and then immediately pop um a rest craft here. Uh, at least potentially do something. I guess it'll depend if physical attacks even work on this thing. Hopefully so. Hmm. Boss design looks fantastic. It does. Looks pretty cool. And hello there, Wasabi. It's not my fault. I didn't start the stream early. You are a bit. Hmm. Yeah, I can try. Okay, it does actually do some damage. That, um... Hmm. He has quite a lot of health, doesn't he? Alright. I suppose in which case... Uh... To be honest, I should probably be getting rid of the ads as well. Uh, they're kind of spaced apart right now. Hopefully they go and attack Estelle. That way we can use a bunch of AoE things on, on them. Water and Earth. 18 EP. How much EP do we have? 140. We do have recovery items. EP recovery, I mean. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. Better to hit Estelle with that. She does have the most defense. Okay, yeah. They're all grouping around her. What was it? Hmm. Hmm. 
We're at 100 CP. I don't know if we're going to be able to reach 200. Uh... If a stone gets enough CP, I could use Taunt to make sure the peeps keep on her. Stone Impact. I believe now is a good time to use this, yeah. Hmm. When do we cast this? It does hit the uh, big boy over there, so... Yeah, maybe this is a good cast. They don't move before we cast. Yeah, sure. Start doing some uh, AoE damage here. If you can go into the circle, please. Thank you. That's going to be a fantastic cast. Yeah. 600. That's bingo bongo damage right there. Oh, could it not move to attack because the things were in the way? That's actually kind of funny. Alright. Uh, I believe we should heal Estelle. Chloe's being focused. Uh, as long as we can get rid of all of them at the same time, we'll be fine. And I mean, it's understandable why they would focus Chloe. We do have an attack up turn. I uh, might use... Yep. Nice. Uh, can I hit everybody? No. Uh, I guess I'll use... Hmm. Should I use it to get rid of all of these guys? I, I think it's fine if I leave one. I do want to use an S-Crowd to at least do some damage to the big boy. Yeah. Let me show you the true essence of beauty. Nice. Okay, there they go. Um, we're just gonna have to tough out some attacks from him. I could use a chain craft to do some damage. Hmm. I could chain with Chloe. Having her do her, um, 200 CP, well, I mean, it's, it's pretty good. Never mind. Uh, Taunt probably doesn't work on it because it's a boss. Okay, fine. Um, in which case, I, I think we just continue to whittle down little by little. Do we have good earth spells? No, not on you. Uh, I kind of want to try this. It's probably not the best idea, but it might do something. Because we can't see the effectiveness of time or space spells. I mean, he is a big boy. Seeing him get crushed would be kind of funny. Hmm. Yo, what's up, Trinum? Problems with YouTube? Uh, no idea about that. I haven't had any or noticed any. Let me try and get rid of you. Six hundred. It's pretty meh. For that much EP cost, not worth it. Yikers. Uh, honestly, Chloe, maybe move. Yeah, maybe let's move out of the way here. As long as Chloe's alive, we'll be fine. He does a lot of damage. 
But it's not anything that we can't deal with. Oh boy. Do we have any... Oh, well, you can't do any. Hmm. Sure, other people have something they can use. For an impede here. Yeah, we do. Nice. Hmm. Streamlabs is dead. Uh, looks like it, if it's not a swan to any of the commands. I'll try and check after the stream is done. Apologies for that. Hmm. Ah, oh, come on. Do you need to heal a thousand? It's only 9 EP. 2,000. Oh, here you Nice. Okay. Oh, are you kidding me? You're gonna call him there? Bruh. There's a crit turn right there. Hmm, gotta be careful. We do have some S cross I can use on that crit turn to steal it. So I think we'll be fine. Or maybe I don't need to. Maybe this is gonna land on the crit turn. Now it's gonna make his land on the crit turn if I use a heal spell. Uh, if I use an attack spell, it lands on my turn. Okay, yeah, I guess that's fine. This should kill the horse in the back here, yeah. It's gonna buff the boss, but... Yeah, not really much I can do about that. Yeah. Nice. Okay, this is gonna hurt. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, we're just slowly whittling this thing down. Won't be long now. Uh, probably just drop a tear on you, yeah. Good thing that we moved Chloe all the way into the corner here. We don't really have to deal with, um, potentially losing our healer. Oh, here it comes. Ooh. You have an S craft, but uh impede. Good job. I'm pretty sure whatever that move is, like it has such a long wind up, I'm sure that if we ever let it get through, we're just gonna insta die. It seems like the kind of move that would. So close. Two crit turns coming up. Although I don't think it's gonna last till then. Oh, let's see if it does something funky here. Okay, yeah, no. We're good. Still taking quite a, a beating, but she's a tough girl. She's got this. Yeah, it should end here.
Unless if there's a second phase. There it goes. Piece of cake. Nice. I guess it maybe was like weak to water because it's like an electrical machine. I guess that makes sense. The Enforcer's theme? Oh yeah, that theme was pretty banging. I didn't remark upon it though. Thank you very much, Bob. I'm pretty sure we were fairly well leveled for this fight, so. Got purging bomb, smelling salts. <sighs> we won, I think. Yes, that was a bit of a struggle. Now then, you are, I hope, prepared for the consequences of what you've done. Really now? Such a lack of elegance in your fighting styles. I'd hoped for better. Well, if I must, let me show you a proper example of elegance. Flame! The legendary mage? <laughs> What? <laughs> what? The, the torches. I... I... A, a guile? With the question mark? Ah! <laughs> this is shadow sewing. <laughs> Impossible. Apologies, my guest, but I must ask that you remain still from this point forward. You seem surprised when Dalmor's treasure did this. However, for we enforcers, such abilities are trivial, even without such crutches. It's French for needle. Ah, I see. I mean, there, there seems to be a lot of French words here. A lot of French words that I can't even hope to pronounce. Talked about free run? Yeah. I mean, I, I've kind of been addicted to watching free run reactions, not gonna lie. Uh, as a manga reader, I'm just so glad that it got adapted the way that it did. In the manga, it was already incredible, but uh, when it, it's actually on the screen, it's even better. No. We were too careless. Scream! No! Sieg! Also, how did C get all the way down here? What the hell? Ah, there you are, courageous little white knight. Your chivalrous bravery is admirable, but I must ask you to remain still for a while. Don't you dare touch Chloe! Ah, my princess Claudia, you are now a prisoner to my desires. <laughs> That's not creepy at all. <laughs> How does it feel, I wonder? Do not think that this will break me. Even if you bind my body, you shall never enslave my heart. <laughs> Dang! <laughs> We're really going with all the classic lines, aren't we? Hmm. He's French? Whoop his ass? Ah... Uh, I'll try my best. I feel like he's gonna end up being like an endgame boss, if not just some character that we never end up ever fighting. <laughs> so long as I am myself, you will never take me. Yes. Yes! Those eyes. Those eyes that shine with such beautiful pride, which say, I will never break. That shine is what I desire. Ah, you are everything I hoped for. Hey, cut the crap, okay? Stop being a weirdo. Creepy mask, dude. Get the hell away from Chloe. Creepy mask, dude. Really? Do not understand the beauty of this mask. You have a very dim understanding of refinement, pet. I ask you, be silent. <laughs> hmm? Ah, my apologies. You've simply made a very crude mistake. I'm afraid I couldn't help but give an innocent chuckle. Oh, this should be amusing. 
in the way watching a pig wallow in mud is captivating. <laughs> this guy has bars. Hmm. Only do standard damage for in-universe reasons. That's why they aren't displayed on enemies' list as effective and ineffective elements. Uh, interesting. I see. Also, welcome to the stream, Zach. And thanks for the info. Time for Olivia to be the goat again? Hell yeah. Always has been. <laughs> this man is always just been like the funniest guy. But he's also so dependable. I like his character and how they handled him. Hmm. They formalize why this is in a later game. Gotcha. Uh, I'll probably figure that out then. In about three years from now. <laughs> oh, this should be amusing. In the way watching a bit. Yeah, I already read this line. Never mind. And what exactly is my mistake, Bard? I certainly wouldn't deny Claudia's beauty. Not even for a moment. Her beauty, however, extends far beyond the estimation your frail, tasteless aesthetic provides. You may approach her again when you have learned the first thing about beauty, Jester of the Grand Master. What? Your words are bold in the face of death, Erebonian! But what gives you vagabond musician scum such as yourself any right to insult my sense of beauty? Choose your next words carefully, for they will determine your fate. Hmm. Then I shall phrase them as a question. What is beauty? Tut tut, you disappoint. I expected more than such foolishness. Beauty is pride, a distant light gleaming far above mortal cares. Indeed, can any other answer even be allowed? I think not. Really? I can't even laugh at such an answer. True beauty, Mr. Blue of Ouroboros, is love! <laughs> Nani? Beauty only exists because people are brave enough to love. And without love, without the bonds of affection and camaraderie that bind us together, beauty is not but a hollow illusion. The prideful and the humble both shine as a diamond in love. Bah! How childish! Love is the hollow illusion, you cloddish jongler! I don't even know what that means, but I said it! Beauty is an absolute. Its existence does not depend on transient human emotions. Yes, just as the flower that blooms on the highest mountain, unseen by man, remains beautiful in anonymity. Hmm. Uh... Ah, <sighs> Claudus Jongler, indeed. Well, so much for the raw terror and suspense, at any rate. I, uh, um, I'm not quite sure what to say to all this. <laughs> I mean, if I was in Chloe's position, I would be like, what are you guys even going on about? Can we just get this going? I mean, I, this is buying us a lot of time, actually, so maybe this will work out. <laughs> but I don't want to lose Chloe, that's for sure. Hmm. Close to the end of this game, too? Oh, okay, cool. So we won't have to wait three years. Reference to a juggler or base entertainer. Oh, I see. Yeah, I've never... There's so many words that we've seen in trails that I've never, ever read before. Never would I have expected to find a proper rival in the ways of beauty among such women. Musician, give me your name. Olivia Lenheim. The wandering bard and hunter of love roaming to and fro in search of its perfect manifestation. Olivia Lenheim. Hmm. I shall remember that name. Ah, uh, hey! I finally found you guys! This is, uh, yep. Hee <laughs> hee, sorry. I know you said to wait, but you guys were so late. I couldn't wait anymore. D Dorothy! Oh no! Dorothy! Run away, please! Huh? Hey, a masked man in white clothes! You're the ghost, aren't ya? You are! What? Uh, well... 
Okay, say cheese. <laughs> Scree! <laughs> ah. I can move again. Oh my god, Dorothy came in with a tactical nuke. <laughs> oh man, that's great. I love how they submerge the person you left behind will be kidnapped, Shopee. I even mentioned that. I'm pretty sure. I was like, oh, yeah, sure, just leave Dorothy, the, the helpless one, behind on her own. Oh, the surely good things will happen to her. Of course, the flash bulb wiped our shadows clean. Duh. Wait, it wiped our shadows clean? Oh, I see. I didn't even notice. I was wondering what those, um, kind of like, they kind of look like screwdrivers. <laughs> They're probably like needles or something. I guess they were pinning down our shadows and making us, making so that we couldn't move. And that was his technique. Yeah, gotcha. Ah, what an astounding girl. Photography and perfectly timed heroism. All in one package. Hee <laughs> hee, leave it to me. Even though I, I don't know what I did, uh... <laughs> Crap! The gospel! Ah, it has been an age since I have been entertained, so... You have my thanks, my guess. You... What else do you intend to do? I am going to end our revelry for tonight. Forgive me if I seem an ungracious host. It appears, however, that I must take stock of my assumptions about you. I can see now why the Black Fang takes such an interest in you. The, the Black Fang? You... you mean Joshua? We are old acquaintances, in a sense. The reason you came to my attention at all was because I noticed that shock of black hair and those amber eyes with you. Though his memories have returned to the stage of his mind, I do wonder where he's rehearsing. <laughs> I am such a poet. Ah! What? Why do all the evil guys get the ability to teleport? I must now take my leave, my guess. The true plan has but started. I would gird yourselves for long labors and suffering ahead. If you intend to oppose us further, um, I'm gonna assume GERD is something like brace yourself, prepare yourself. That's yet another word I've never seen before. And I do intend to keep our little game going on the side. Till next we meet. Hmm. He's gone. Hmm. It's now officially Olivier's rival. I mean, it's a great rivalry. The two kind of chuny guys <laughs> just going up against each other. Honestly, um, <laughs> not gonna lie, Blue might be my favorite character to voice. <laughs> the villain teleports away. Are we gonna see that a lot? I mean, we've seen that plenty during uh, Kiwi's Fire Emblem streams, but yeah, I have a feeling. Many games for the good guys get limited teleportation abilities. Bro, Sag. Attack decades ahead of everyone. Of course they do. Or else they wouldn't be much of a threat, I suppose. I... I still can't believe it. Wow, we! It's like a magic trick. <laughs> Most impressive. I suppose it behooves me to take him as my rival. Okay. We are so beyond worrying about rivals here. He may look like some pervil ballroom freak, but that power of his is not normal. Indeed. Or Boris. Lawrence isn't an exception, then. All the enforcers must be that powerful. And so, the ghost incidents that had so stirred Ruin came to an end. The next morning, Estelle and the gang parted with Dorothy and return to the guild. We need narration guy to become a character. I see. Good work, all of you. The Society of Ouroboros. 
To be honest, I only half believed Cassius when he told me about a secret society up to no good, but... <laughs> secret society, you say? Don't tell Iris. Well, here's the reward for completing the investigation. Sure didn't expect it to turn out like this, though. Uh, White Shadow Case. Nice! A rank advancement to F rank! F in the chat. <laughs> Received Absorb Quartz as a perk. Absorb? Do I, like, when I get hit by magic attacks, I absorb their magical power? Hmm. I'll have the results forwarded to Cass. er. <laughs> Brigadier General Bright and the rest of the army immediately. I get the impression they're desperate for information too. Yes, please do. If Ouroboros can produce something like that, holographic projector, was it? They're far more capable than we even thought possible. Hmm. <laughs> Funnily enough, on screen chat is working fine. When one thing broke, another thing worked. <laughs> Never mind, producing another gospel as casually as most people obtain a pair of shoes. The real objective seems to have been performing experiments with that new gospel. The fuss about the ghost was little more than the whim of the man in charge, really. Blue, the phantom thief. Blue blah. <laughs> oh, now. Uh, okay, we'll just call him Blue. He calls himself Enforcer. Number X. Um, probably number 10. If I had to hazard a guess, Enforcer is probably a title for ranking agents in the society. I'd put money on the man we know as Lieutenant Lawrence being another one. Wait. Um... Lieutenant Lawrence was the guy uh, who had white hair and we were supposed to lose that battle, right? It was the one boss battle that we couldn't be in the last game. Um, Estelle. Yeah, I know. The Black Fang. That's what Joshua called himself that night he disappeared. Joshua was also an enforcer, I bet. I always suspected there was more to him from the moment we first met. But given his age, I never thought he'd be able to match someone like that phantom thief. Somehow, I doubt he ever showed us what he was really capable of. I mean... Joshua literally had a, an S-craft that made him do damage to every single thing on the map in one, like, split second. I don't think he was normal to begin with. Hmm. Yep, Lauren's OP as heck. Oh boy! I can't wait to fight him! Again! Hopefully this time we are actually supposed to beat him and I don't spend a bunch of, like, super incredibly rare items to revive myself just to die. Hmm. Yeah, maybe. Hey, Sean. What is it? That Phantom Thief guy said the Society's plans had only just begun. I think they've got plots and stuff in motion all over Liberal. Have you heard anything from the other branches? Anything weird? Hmm. Nothing that stands out. I bet you're right, though. They're starting to act in the shadows all over Liberal. Given that our little ghost fuss is over, it might be wise for you to head somewhere else. Yes, I was just thinking that myself. Are any of the other branches looking a little strained? Potential society trouble aside? Give me a moment. Let me drink some water. You guys too! It's been- oh my god, it's already been an hour! Holy, time flies when you're having fun! What I will say about on-screen chat is that it probably goes through a different system because Streamlabs itself might not be down, it's just the Streamlabs bot. Sometimes, for whatever reason, it randomly turns itself off. So the only time I would know that <laughs> is if I either check the website every single day or, you know, if an instance like this happens where it just doesn't work. So yeah, after stream I'll go back and try to turn it on. I, I don't know the reason why. Maybe it's like they update the system or whatever, but yeah. 
I guess the Zeiss branch, sort of. There stand by Gundolf, had to head to Gransol. Gundolf? Don't think we heard that name before. It sounds like they're fairly undermanned at the moment. Okay then, we should head out there and help them. Wait, Gransol... Gransol's the capital, right? Will Ruin be alright though? The boss branch is dispatching Sting to help us out in a few days. <laughs> Your bracer name <laughs> is Sting? <laughs> okay. Melvin and I will be able to hold the fort until Sting gets here, I think. <laughs> oh, and once you get to Zeiss, you may want to check in with Professor Russell. He might have an insight on the new gospel you guys observed. Yeah, that's a good idea. I totally want to see Tina again, anyway. So I'll head over to his place right away. Well then, we should head for the airship port as soon as our preparations are complete. John? If you would be so kind as to prepare four tickets for the Zeiss bound flight. Pardon? Where do you get off taking the lead and... Hold on. Four? Well, naturally, you and Shira. And then myself and Miss Chloe here, of course. Oh. What? Nani? I thought this might come up. You're certain you wish to come with? The search for Joshua is my mission as a hunter of love. Not to mention the matter of my new rival. That should be reason enough, I would think. Okay. Wait. Leaving your total freaking insanity aside for a second? Don't drag Chloe into this too, you jerk. She doesn't even want- No. Actually, I was going to ask for the same thing. Say what? <laughs> this malicious, mysterious society is operating within the borders of Liberal, plotting who knows what. As what I am, I cannot simply ignore what they are doing. I must act. Besides, I want to help Joshua, and you, Estelle. Aw, Chloe. But your classes... This morning, I sent a letter to Dean Collins, stating that I will be needing a break from lessons. My exam scores are excellent anyway, and I have all the credits I need to move on at the end of the year already. Oh, nice! Yo, what's up, Draco? Welcome to stream. The difference is Chloe was going to ask. I mean, true. Uh, my man. My man goes where he pleases. I'm so he didn't need to ask. <laughs> I talked to Jill and Hans about it, and they insisted I should go. <laughs> what the? My, but you certainly go all in once your mind is made up. Uh, I'm sorry. I suppose I'm shoving myself onto you in a way. I can remain behind if you'd prefer. <laughs> oh, no you don't. If you really want to come, I'd love to have your help. You don't have a problem with it, right, Jiro? Just the opposite. I think it's a wonderful idea. Chloe's skills in orbital arts will be a great help, as will Sieg. Th thank you. Shirazard, Estelle, thank you. I will give it my all, I swear. Well, we're old friends after all. We're the Red and Blue Knights, remember? Now let's combine our forces and find our lost princess. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right, the school play. Yeah. That's right. Yes, lead on, Red Knight. Ah, then this would make me the lone wandering prince from a nearby country. Here to take back the dark-haired princess, even if by force. You don't get to add rolls. <laughs> well, good to see that sorted out. In that case, though, we should classify you two as temporary assistants. That way the guild can pay expenses for you. Hmm, and use it as a tax write-off. Yes, please do. Well, I shall assist you with all my heart. Let us be off. Oh! We finished chapter one. Hell yeah! Sneaking shadows. How many streams are we into this game? <laughs> we finally finished chapter one! Oh, man. 
Why do I have to enjoy games that are just super long? By the time we... I can't even finish one of these games. By the time, like, another game that I'm interested in gets released. That is also super long. Hmm. And so... The... Feet? Fatigue? Nani? <laughs> Comes to an end. But the passion it left in my heart still burns within me. Nah, my only solace is to wait in the pale moonlight for the cool breeze of the sea to still my heated blood. <laughs> Chapter 1, yeah, yeah. JRPGs are um, a whole nother beast, my dudes. I wonder how long Final Fantasy games are. I mean, it is one of the other series that I am planning to stream someday on the channel. I do have the original Final Fantasy 1. And uh, I, I think my computer can definitely run that game. So, yeah, we'll, we'll see, I guess. I like long things. Who doesn't? The longer, the better, apparently. Sorry to make you wait. Ah. Hmm. <laughs> That's true pun. <laughs> ah, perfect timing. You really are perfectly punctual, my friend. It would not hurt you to learn to be fashionably late, you know? Lawrence question mark. I see. <clears throat> Do you want to know how many games, uh, chapters this game has? Oh, I mean, pun, uh, already said it. Ten chapters. Uh, what voice did I give this guy? I don't remember. Hmm. Sorry, but punctual is what I am. Now, what is your report? No, oh, let us not be boorish and hurry so, yes? This has been a grand evening. Allow me to savor it a little longer. Really? I'll take that as a report of, I really like them, then. Like? <laughs> The lovely princess has stolen even more of my heart. It's a miracle I yet live, I tell you. What's more, I met a rival in the arena of beauty and aesthetics. A rival? Me! <laughs> I shall be quite busy these next few weeks, I think. You really are hopeless. You're welcome to pursue your hobbies, but do not let it interfere with the plan. You need not worry on that score, my friend. On that note, here, take it. Very good. So, how did your experiments go? Yes, call it a 90% success rate or so. The hologram projector can accurately project for many hundreds of Selgi. What are we going to use this for? Hmm. Could it potentially transmit something much larger than just a person? Hmm. Despite being a FF fan, the only FF games I completed to the end are 9 and 15. Really? Almost finished 12, the save got corrupted. Rest in peace. I mean, I feel like most Final Fantasy fans have played like one game. One or two. And they're like their absolute favorite. Because from my understanding, most of the Final Fantasy games aren't really connected. Some of them are, but most of them aren't. I mean, Seven's kind of like one of the more popular ones. Hmm. I lost my almost completed FF12 run due to my first PS4 dying. Oh no. Rip, dude. Actually, is it? so possible to like play every single Final Fantasy in chronological order because I'm pretty sure one of the main Final Fantasy titles was uh, an MMO and I mean I know that FF 14 is an MMO but I know that there was one before that that I don't know if they still support the servers hmm. I once again I'm completely like ignorant on the subject I don't know anything about it but I think there is 11 was an MMO. 
Ah, uh, I see. Then I guess when people describe like playing it through in chronological order, it probably skips through the MMOs and. Hmm. The first two or so projections were miserable failures, I'm afraid. After the third, however, the device worked flawlessly. So, some cause for concern, but not much. It does function. I'll report to the professor at once. That gospel. Truly, it is far beyond contemporary technology. And I don't simply mean its ability to negate ornaments. I know it was made by the 13 factories, but how exactly does it work? I'm not sure. I'm not privy to the details. According to the professor, these phenomena are just the tip of a miracle. Oh, so it's the stuff of miracles, is it? Hmm. Miracles are the providence of she who dwells above, alone. She who dwells above. Are you referring to the goddess? Ideos? Or someone else? What does he mean, I wonder? Hmm. The polite term is private server? <laughs> I mean, for the fans of the game, there probably is private servers. Um... From what I heard, it wasn't a very good MMO, though. Hmm. Maybe they, they fixed things up, but yeah. I, I think there was an entire system where, like, the grinding and stuff was, like, super heavy and it was very punishing whenever you died. So, I, I guess, if we ever did play through the Final Fantasy series, we just go and play the, the single-player games. Like, yeah, I'm not really about that. Hmm. And, uh... FF14 could be really fun to play with um, Kiwi and Serbi and the gang. I know that um, Nivian and Cashew... Uh, actually, I, I believe Nivian and Cashew met each other playing FF14. So yeah, they do play that. As well as the extended friend group as well. Maybe someday. Regardless, a few more experiments should make the potential of the Gospels clear. With that... Hmm? Oh ho! We've had a number of unexpected actors coming onto the stage this night. How shall this cameo end? I wonder. <laughs> That's up to how our hidden mouse responds. Huh. <laughs> Indeed. Come now, mouse. Cry for us! Wahe! <laughs> Hmm. I'm not sure who that little mouse is, but your life is spared, it seems. <laughs> but I feel like it's your fault for just coming on top of this warehouse and talking. <laughs> like, there's plenty of other places you guys can go and talk. Thank God you for your life, rodent. <laughs> Bring on the beer! <laughs> Can't drink no more! <laughs> Damn it. I could've. I could've. <laughs> oh. Hey, it's coming! My boy. I mean, he's gonna be our, our guy here for this game, yeah. And he's such a fun character, too. The interconnectedness of the Trail series is what I like so much about it. You don't really see it anywhere else. Huh. Really? I, I haven't experienced enough series to kind of have a, an opinion about a, that kind of thing just yet. I mean, it is cool between like this first and second game already. But it's pretty standard. Uh, from what I do know of, though, is that... There are some things that we learned about from the first game that actually lead all the way to, like, the much more recent games. Which is pretty insane, to me, personally. 
that we've kind of kept all those things consistent all the way till then. Why a random roof? Why not, I guess. I don't know. Oh, okay. Thank you, Ideas, Saints, and anyone else I'm forgetting for saving your humble servant. <laughs> like I need to be told to give praise to the goddess. What monsters, though? So those are the enforcers of Ouroboros, huh? Man. Chapter 2, The Raging Land. The land was a gamer this entire time. There's Chunia Sid? It makes sense. Okay, we're off to Zeiss. Anyone have anything else they want to do before we go? No, not I. If you can't think of anything, we should be going. I can think of one piece of business. Where did Miss Dorothy go? She disappeared quite suddenly, and I'm curious as to where she could have gone. I think she went to go see Niall in the hotel. That's a good point. I think we should go say hi and thanks before you leave Ruin. <laughs> yes, I think so too. We owe Dorothy our lives, really. I wanted to say goodbye to Matron Teresa and the children before you left as well, but... I tried calling them from the guild a minute ago, and I think they're out. They are? Aww. Oh, I wanted to say goodbye to... Well, we can always write them a letter from Zeiss, you know? I bet they love it, in fact. And we can always come back here easily enough if we really need to. Yes, that's true. I'll write them then. Hey, hey, we'll write them! I want in too! Heh. <laughs> Well, come, my friends, let us away to the pulsing heart of the horrible revolution and the seat of geniuses. Uh, honestly, we could go all the way back to see Matron Teresa, but I don't think um, I don't think they'll be there. I don't know. The game doesn't suggest it, so who knows? Could be secret side content. We're in the middle of a very critical meeting. Sorry, but you have business. Okay, fine. Later, nerd. Are they staying in one of these rooms? Maybe downstairs? Where are you guys? I'm so glad they just randomly let me into every room. For now, I've taken on a part-time job to help with the election. I've just started, but I guess things are going okay. Thankfully, my dad's too busy to have much time to worry about me, it seems like. Oh, cool. We can't get all the books, so the only reason would be suspected a secret quest. Yeah, true. Hmm. I mean, we could. It's not too far away. Hmm. Uh, but have no portable voice transmission? Ah. Uh, I mean, they should have that. I mean, even we have that. That's, that's not anything, like, technologically advanced. Hello! Uh... Ah, you guys. I heard from Dorothy that you guys solved their little ghost problem. Yeah, we did, but is Dorothy okay? She was yammering on drowsily about what happened. When she was finished, she conked right out, so I had to put her to bed. Hmm, I'm afraid we did drag her along with us in the dead of night. Not only that, but we owe her our lives. She's earned a bit of rest. Hmm. A real reporter can go a good week without sleep when he's got a scoop. Oh yeah, some of the stuff she was talking about sounded wild, but she didn't really explain it all. Mind if I ask you guys a few questions? Sure, go ahead. We gave him an outline. Alright, I think I get it now. Son of a... I don't think B himself is a liberal, and he's one of those Ouroboros people. Kinda wish I hadn't heard that. Nunny? Niall, you know about that mass weirdo? Oh yeah, he's a famous thief who causes a stir in every major city on the continent. If he wants something, he'll get it. And he always steals things with a big ol' show. For a phantom, he's got a love of drama, that's for sure. That certainly matches the man we met beneath the schoolhouse, yes. He even admitted he's fan of Thief B. Well, those cards, so... Like I said, though, Thievery is one thing, but he's also a lackey of the society. 
I don't think Ouroboros would have use for someone like him. But at the same time, if they do, it's terrifying. Niall, I'm curious. Do you intend to write an article about what happened? Ah, uh, Guild and Royal Army asked me to not report on anything to do with the society. I'll probably end up writing about someone's ill-intended crime of pleasure, or something. With the coup d'etat foiled, the kingdom is beginning to settle. I do see the wisdom in this. There is little sense in terrifying the populace with news of a dangerous secret society. Just yet. Yeah, I ain't happy about it as a reporter. But I guess I see where the government is coming from. Still, if anything else happens, tell me about it, yeah? Of course. Anyway, we're out for Zeiss. Ah, right. I got a draft I need to write up, so I can't see you off, but... Want me to wake Dorothy? No, it's okay. He's fast asleep, and I'd hate to disturb her. Give her our best when she gets up, yeah, okay? Will do. Be careful, you guys. Later. Hmm. Uh... Hey, you guys! Who? Your bracers, right? Yeah, is something wrong? You look kind of frazzled. There's something I'd like you to investigate urgently. Could you come right now? Um... Yes? Yeah, no problem. Thanks, I owe you. So, where should we go? Head to Norman's election office. It's on the top floor of the hotel. Here, I'll show you the way. Yeah, just go up these stairs, right next to you. Hmm. I'm telling you, I didn't do it! Hurry up and let me go home, I got work to do. Now, now, calm down. Just bear with us until the bracers arrive. Once their investigation's done, you can leave. Speak of the devil! See? Here they are! Hmm. That sure was fast, Irio. Yeah, I looked out and ran into some bracers right away. I, I mean... <laughs> you literally turned us away a second ago, but okay. This is Norman. I'm sure you've seen him on posters around the city. One of the guys running for mayor, I think. I'm Estelle Bright of the Bracer Guild. I'm Shirazard Harvey, also a bracer. So let's get to it. What happened? One of our campaigners, Dells, was injured by someone. In other words, it's an assault case. Hmm. An assault? Well, that's never a nice thing to hear. Is the victim okay? Yeah, he's still here. He was unconscious for a bit, but I was... Oh! Oh, God! I was totally struck by a stroke of sleepiness. Hmm. Must be all the election work. Thankfully, nothing serious. Yeah, good to hear it. There's nothing good about it. The back of my head still hurts like you wouldn't believe. The back of your head, huh? Were you attacked from behind? Yes, ma'am. Right out of the blue, too. I was taking a breather on the balcony and all of a sudden from behind. Thud. How vicious. Ouch. Sounds nasty. When did the incident occur? Give us any info that happened before and after. Sure, it happened today, just after lunch. Norma and I were checking out a potential location for a speech by the bridge. Cooper here had just turned up then. When I talked to him, he said he had some important business with Norman. What kind of business? Portos told me to come apologize for that mess on the bridge. It's not like it's all my fault, but I did sort of make it worse. I see. So you came to say sorry for the scuffle. Yes, but Norman was still very busy at the time. We'd asked Cooper to wait in the office area. That's when I showed him to this room. I returned to the hotel not too long afterward. I entered the room with Hirio, who had been waiting outside the office, and... There was Dells, unconscious on the balcony. And Cooper was right there. Standing over him. I'm trying to tell you! Why does that make me the criminal? 
You can't deny how incriminating that kind of is. <laughs> it was already all cold when I'd reached the balcony. I understand what Cooper's saying, but it's only natural to suspect him given the circumstances. There was no one in this room except Cooper and Dells. Is that true? After I brought Cooper, I was on watch outside the door. No one entered until Norman got here. No matter how you look it, that means these two were alone. You're absolutely positive. Yeah, it's true, but it's like I said. When I went out to the balcony, Dells was already on the ground. So let me get this straight. The crime was already committed by the time you came, is that right? Yeah, exactly. Ah, thank Ideas. Finally there's someone who gets it. In that case, it had to be someone who entered the room before Cooper. Dells, do you remember anything? It's possible that someone came in. People go in and out of this office all the time, though. Even if someone had, I wouldn't have thought much of it. Fair enough. It's an election office, so that makes sense. Hmm. At least we have a good idea of what's going on. The culprit behind this attack must be one of two people. Cooper, or someone who came before him into this room. We should be able to narrow it down if we get enough proof. Think we ought to start questioning? Yeah, if there's nothing else to be gleaned here, yes. If you gentlemen can think of anything else, please tell me now. Even if it seems trivial or unimportant. Alright. Then I have one more thing I'd like to add. There was something that occurred to me as I was looking through the room after the incident. Were there signs it'd been rummaged around him? Not at all. Just the opposite, in fact. It actually felt like it was cleaner than before. Huh? Is a serial cleaner on the loose? Oh my god! The horror! Hmm. One way to interpret it would be as a disguise to hide the fact that the room had been searched. Of course, it appears they went too far, inadvertently arousing suspicion in the process. That's not a bad train of thought. Incidentally, who are you? <laughs> I was waiting for that question. I am a traveling bard, a poetic soul wandering the wilds, a genius mu- Sure, but if nothing's been stolen, then isn't the idea that it's a disguise pretty weak? At this stage, I don't think there's any point in worrying about motive. I agree. <laughs> You've grown even bolder since our last rendezvous, Estelle. Your training at that place was most fruitful. You're simply stunning. <laughs> Olivier. Just ignore him. Now, if there's nothing else here you can tell us, we should get to questioning. Certainly. She's begun to master how to handle Olivier, I see. Good luck with the investigation. We'll come report once we have an answer. Good. We're counting on you to get to the bottom of this. Now, how should we go about things? I mean, this hotel is pretty big. It's best if we split into two. So, go with Her Highness. I'll go with Olivier. We're lucky to have them as assistants, so let's make good use of them. Good point. Ready to kick some investigation butt, Chloe? <laughs> of course. <laughs> Assisting companions is only natural for a hunter of love. You sure don't miss a beat, do you? Alright. Our first order of business is to gather information on the suspect. If you go around asking about Cooper, something should turn up. Should you get a clearer picture of the criminal, come back here. So, once we found the criminal, go report to you. No problemo! Let's go see what we can find out. Hmm. This is interesting. Investigation quest right off the bat. <clears throat> and yeah, the world of Trails is also one of those universes where there was like an ancient civilization with far more advanced tech than we, what we currently have. So we kind of regressed, in a way, but not really. Hmm. Makes me think of um, Breath of the Wild, stuff like that. But, you know, we, we didn't suffer any 
casualties like in Breath of the Wild did. Uh, Cooper. Cooper's face went white as a sheet the moment he saw us. He was surely dismayed at having been witness at the crime scene. I'll say it as many times as you like. I only found Dallas. If we had been fine, someone would have heard a sound, but no one said anything, did they? Of course they didn't, because I was politely seated on the sofa. What? Yeah, but you were standing with the body. Uh, Cooper? Hmm. Well, it's operating on repeating cycle. I mean, it would kind of make sense with, um, some of the imagery that we've seen. Then again, they also later developed stuff they didn't have back in the ancient days. Yeah, true. Cooper was standing next to Dells, who was lying on the ground. He looked at me and seemed very surprised. He wasn't excited or worked out, but he did appear tremendously shocked. As Cooper said, I didn't hear any loud noise either. I was in the lobby at the time, but if grown men were fighting, I'm sure I would have heard something. Uh, I mean, it wasn't grown men fighting. Dude got clobbered in the back of the head. If I fought with Dell, someone would have heard something. Well, yes, Cooper's right. I was standing in front of the door, but it was quiet the whole time in the room. If there had been some kind of argument, I'm sure I would have noticed. I lost consciousness immediately, so I didn't see who hit me. Even catching a glance would have been better than nothing at all. Sound, you say? That would probably be the sound of me getting hit. Heard a hell of a bang in my head, that's for sure. Hmm. Is there nobody else in here? Yeah, I don't think so. Look at the scene of the crime. Blimey. There's nothing here. Alright. Anybody else? Mr. Cooper is a guest who comes here only on very rare occasions. Mostly we have his patronage for work-related gatherings. A sound, you say? Unfortunately, I heard no such thing. Is there anybody else I could question? There wasn't anybody in any of these rooms. When Cooper came to the hotel, I was in the lobby. I don't know. He looked angry, I guess. I thought something might happen. Then, just like I thought, something happened. <laughs> the sound? I didn't really hear anything. He looked pissed off to me. It was right after that big mess on the bridge. It's only natural he'd be angry. So is it just gonna be that Cooper actually did clobber him in the back of the head for revenge? The hell, man? Did you guys see anything? Niall! Now did you love yet? Yeah, actually a case only popped up. What do you mean? Well... Ah, I see. You don't seem too interested. Yeah, I doubt it's big enough to make an article out of. <laughs> yeah, it's boring. Not gonna make good content. I don't care. <laughs> well, just in case, once you solve it, tell me what you got. I'll do. Yo! Who are you again? Ah, been quite a while, young lady. How are you, sir? You remember us, right? You lent us your boat when the bridge was up. You really saved us, then. Nah, it was no skin off my back. So, come back to ride again, yeah? Wish I could, but I've got some work to do. We're investigating the case that happened at the hotel. Ugh, sounds rough. If I can be of any help, feel free to ask me what you like. Will do, sir. Yeah, I know him. He's that young fellow working at the harbor. Like everyone else these days, he's been involved with the election. Sound. Thinking about it, I did hear a loud noise from above. Above from here? You mean the balcony? Probably around there, yeah. It was an impressive sound, like something had run into something else with a smack. Can't recall exactly when I'd heard it, though. That's too bad. Still, this is all good stuff to know. Thanks, sir. Oh, was Cooper that angry? 
Oh, youngsters get worked up so easily these days. So there was a sound. Uma. And he was standing here. And the balcony's right there. Cooper. It's not looking good for you, my dudes. I fear I cannot agree. Mr. Cooper seemed generally normal. Really? Hmm. Maybe he's just always angry. <laughs> hmm. He didn't seem particularly angry when I met him at the bridge. Well, perhaps something happened while he's being led to the hotel. Was Cooper angry? It didn't really look that way, but... Is that so? I'm not sure I can really help with that. Hmm. I was angry? <laughs> That's crazy. If you're gonna say that, Hirio's attitude was way worse than mine, I think. The moment he saw me, he made this real nasty face. Try asking around about Hirio. I bet you'll turn up some dirt. Him and Dell's are rivals competing to be a number two in Norman's camp. Ooh, I'm sure they couldn't come to terms and end up in a tussle. Him and Dell's arrivals, sure they can come to terms, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's unbelievable that you suspect Kirio. In the first place, you're suggesting that it hurt his co-worker. What could possibly motivate him to do such a thing? There's no way Hirio did it, I testify to it myself. There's no bad blow between us whatsoever. We even work together. Ah, <sighs> sorry, I got excited and made my head hurt. Let me ask the man himself. I had an unpleasant expression, you say? Well, of course! After a fuss like that, who wouldn't? What does that have to do with the case? Hmm. You doubt even Hirio? He isn't the kind of person to resort to violence. Here is the most loyal man. He would never commit such a criminal act. Why does everybody believe in him so much? Oh! Are you done questioning in the office? Yes, we're done here. How about you? It's going okay, I guess. I'm still checking out stuff. Keep it up and don't get careless. Leave it to me. Interesting. Hmm. So you're checking out Hirio? He did kind of look unhappy when he got back to the hotel. That's probably because he was with Cooper, though. Here is that young merchant fellow, yeah? If he wants to be a merchant, I think he needs to have a bit more oof to him, you hear me? He has got gullible written all over him. Look at people ripping him off at every turn if he doesn't shape up. Well, this didn't really lead to much. Um... Hmm. Do we potentially have to investigate things on the way here? People in the front. Hmm. I mean, we've all seen seen all of this. By what do you mean by front? What is it? What's on your mind? If you're hiding something, you should just come out and say it. Trying to hide things will only lead to a bigger trouble. I'm sorry. Oh, we needed Shira to come down for this to happen? <laughs> you like talking? Yes, actually. I saw him. I saw Hirio on the second floor. And when was that? Right after lunch. Hirio went out with Norman, but... Oh, but shortly after that, Hiro came back and ran up to the second floor. Well, it's kind of important to know. I want you to pursue this lead. We'll look around here for a bit longer. Got it. Well. Hmm. Yeah, we ordered food from Lavantar. Man, it was good. 
Here to lunch from Lavatar. I don't want my companions getting sick of eating the same food again and again, so I thought we'd try something different. Uh, that's as much uh, part of politics as the campaign itself. Indeed it is. I'll admit, my nerves have been on edge for some time now. It hasn't been easy to keep my eyes on everything day in and day out. Sorry to hear that. What did you do after lunch? After lunch, Hiro and I immediately went to examine the place my speech is to be held at. Hiro had some other business to attend to first and met up with me at the site. You left right after lunch and met up with Hiro outside. That's all I need to hear. Hmm. They were from Lavatar? Sure, it's nice. May I try asking Portos? <laughs> what were you doing? Norman went to have a look at the site. I had some stuff I had to do. The rest is as I explained before. You went to the second floor, didn't you? Excuse me? There's no point in hiding it. I'm not hiding anything. I just I just realized I forgot something and went back to the office to pick it up. Was there anyone in the office at the time? Dells was there working. I didn't see anyone else. Don't misunderstand, please. I wasn't trying to hide that I got into the second floor. Just don't forget that this kind of thing only makes you look worse. Dang. Hmm. Okay. Uh, well, I mean, I can talk to you about the lunch, but it's probably the same thing. Paler for lunch, I am on my own in the lobby. It's kind of suffocating to eat in the same room as my dad. He feeds his normal, boring self, then gets a special paler just for himself. Dang, was it that different? It was way better. The special one's got, like, a mountain of shrimp. Guess he didn't have much of an appetite, though. Left a lot behind. What a waste. Sad bro. Hmm. I want to eat the lavender today. I've always been in the habit of going out to lunch as soon as I hear the bell toll. The bell toll? The bell on the Langland Bridge. It rang when the bridge went up. Oh yeah, it did ring. It always rings at a certain time, see? I use it in place of a clock. Not sure convenient. Kinda big to use in a place of a clock, though. It might be good to ask some people about the bell toll. They should be able to clearly remember the sound of a bell ringing. Might act as a guidepost for their memory. Uh. Alright. Mm. Hmm. Right. Okay. Got our next clue. Why would I lie about something like that? I was in the hotel basement, so I didn't notice. Okay. To whom the bell tolls, time marches on. I next organize the utensils. So I'm gonna clean the place in the office. The office plates were cleaned? So that means there was someone who went into the office after lunch. Indeed. While I was preparing the guest rooms, they cleaned up, it seems. The plates were stacked at the front. Of course, exactly which kind of guest it was, I couldn't say, unfortunately. Guess we'll have to ask around ourselves. Okay. Cleaned up? No idea. Someone must have done it while I was out. But the plates and such clean by the time we got back to the office. This thing's like you paying attention. I think it was when I was meeting with Norman by the bridge. Then Cooper showed up and I showed him the way to here. When did the bridge bell ring? When Owen Hiriel and I were checking out the speech site. Yeah, it was already there. Cooper showed up. And asked Hiri to show him to the hotel. Who could have done it? All I know is that they were cleaned while I was away. I'm afraid not. Don't know who it was, but I worry that it may have left them a terrible impression. In truth, I haven't had much of an appetite lately. I left quite a lot of the paella I got for lunch on Eden. I requested that Ernest get me one of the special paellas in secret, yet left it virtually untouched. Embarrassing to think back on how wasteful that was. Now that you mentioned it, I do think I heard that. Uh, who 
who did clean up? You were in the office, weren't you? You'd normally notice if someone came to clean. I would. Even I think it's odd. Hmm. I was running across the bridge in a real hurry. I met Norman right about the same time by the bridge. You're looking for the person who cleaned up? Look, who cares? Just hurry up and prove me innocent. What the hell, bro? Screw you. Okay, I guess the only other person is you. Who cleaned up? I wouldn't go. I've been killing time in the hotel basement. Um, hmm. Someone cleaned up the plates? It's a rare thing to find someone so considerate. beautiful the flower, the easier it wilts. Oh my. Hmm. Is this a dead end? Pretty sure we asked everybody everything. Did I miss somebody? Um. Or maybe it's uh, not the case where I need to get more evidence, but I should already know by now. There's ask one more time stuff? Oh, are you kidding me? Ugh. Just like it was with um the front desk, right? Where I had to ask it again. Mm. Forgive me for not voicing any of this. <laughs> My voice is dying. Uh... Here we are checking. Then Cooper showed up. Mm. Okay. Well, this is great fun. Shira, uh, do you have something? Let me save just in case this actually accidentally activates something. 
Oh, here it is. If you're stuck, you might want to go over everything again. If you give up, that's the end. That's bro. think this guy's even involved. I want to suspect Hirio. I really do. Ugh. Okay, maybe I can just report then. I don't think I'm gonna like accidentally run into the dialogue multiple dialogue choice that kind of just straight up tells me um we've gone through so much information a little hard for me to piece together we do know that Hirio kind of um split off to go and do something and then he went to the second floor and somebody did end up cleaning the place for whatever reason which was really weird. Yeah, that's really weird, man. Hmm. I suppose we could do a little bit of safe scouting. <laughs> hmm. What and who to talk to? Oh, if you remember, Demon. Uh, sure. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, I don't want to waste your guys' time by just going through every single dialogue with every single person in this hotel. Cold Steel 3 had so much knowledge that it surpassed the Lord of the Rings books combined? That is... <laughs> insane. <laughs> Murray, Sound, and Bell Toll. Murray? Ooh, is Murray again? Is you? Yes, it is. Murray's kind of fuzzy, but I did hear a loud noise. It was an impressive sound. Like something had run into something else with a smack. It was a Langman Bridge Bell. Speaking of the sound of a bell... Oh, there it is. Did you remember something? No, you... You asked about it a second ago, didn't you? That big sound. A sound? Like something smacking into something? Yeah, that thing. Well, I remember something now. That sound happened as if it were time to the bell, at least in my ears. Time to the bell? So basically, you heard the sound of the bell at roughly the same time as that big sound. If you want to make it sound all boring, yeah. If the sound was something caused by the criminal, then someone without an alibi when the bell rang is the criminal. We should check on people we suspect. Okay. Cooper, Sound, Norman, and Cooper Bell Toll. Roger. If I found Medell, someone would have heard something. We have someone who testified to hearing a loud sound. He apparently heard the sound of something colliding with something else from around the balcony area. Have any idea what it could be? Something colliding with something else? Didn't hear any sound like that. Hmm. Bridge toll. I was running across the bridge in a real hurry. I met Norman right about the same time. So then... Cooper and the balcony sound are unrelated. According to the testimony we got, the sound happened right after the bell stopped ringing. So... That will line up with what we've heard from Cooper himself. Hmm. Hiryu was there too. Just as the bell was ringing, Cooper showed up. So then Estelle, there's no connection between the sound Murray heard and Hiryu. Yeah, not just Hiryu, but Cooper seems in the clear too. The sound Murray heard was just after the bell finished ringing, but both men can prove they were with Norman at the time. 
In other words, whoever made that sound was neither Hiryo nor Cooper. This virtually eliminates any chance of them being the criminal. Hmm? Um... Okay... That matches Norman's testimony. They timed it with the sound of the bell. Who else here would have done it? Hmm. A real detective case, yeah. Ugh. Thank goodness I'm not a detective. If only I had an eyeball to help me here. Hmm. Lunch? Belden, then Norman. Belden. My dad's pretty unfair. He feeds us normal stuff. Wait a sec. What's with that weird face? It's just... Hey, Belden. You said that you ate lunch on the first floor, right? What about it? Norman ate on the second floor. How did you know what Norman ate when you were on the first floor? Ah, true. I saw it afterwards, Avi. Um, uh, because you ended up cleaning the plates? Sorry, my bad. Yeah, actually, I heard from someone else. I don't remember who said it, though. Maybe you should investigate that next? <laughs> Alright. Elementary, dear Zero. I'm a mad scientist, not a detective VTuber. Thank goodness. <laughs> yeah, so we ordered lunch today. Okay, this again. Hmm. Nurse have been on edge. What did you do after? Rio had some other business. You left right after lunch and met up with Hirio. The good work. Mm. I probably have to do lunch again with Belden, right? Yeah, probably. To press him on that matter. Blech. What? <laughs> okay, we're cleaning up. Are you? <laughs> hmm. Where are the mini games when we need them? Dungarupa mini games, no, anything but that. Uh, this, I mean, this is a little bit tedious, but I guess it's fine. Hmm. Lunch again, then cleaned up Norman. Uh, I'm not sure we just did this. Hmm. Lunch and Bell, Belden. Oh my god. Jesus. Yeah, Belden's not giving us any info. Hmm. Don't forget to drink water? Thank you for the reminder, Wasabi. Yo, what's up, Marshall? We're currently doing a investigation to see who was uh, the culprit behind an assault. But it's not going so well. The main issue is that we get new dialogue options and we have to repeat dialogue options. So it's a little bit tedious, unfortunately. Not gonna lie, I kind of prefer like the, the gathering of evidence and then coming to a conclusion rather than running around and talking to people, but I guess this is just actual detective work. Hmm.
Do you ask about Norman about lunch twice, then about cleaned up? I've asked Norman about lunch, um, three, four, probably five times. That was gonna get a good measure. I don't know. All right, clean up. I requested that Ernest get me one of the special ones. I just couldn't find any uptight. Please keep that to yourselves. I don't want people worried that I may be sick. But yeah. I did that press you on that again? I don't know. Are the plates and stuff cleaned? Don't know. Don't say anything useful. You are pretty useless. But you were in the office, weren't you? You normally notice that someone came to clean. Uh, even I think it's odd. Okay. What the hell? Bell and it's Murray lunch again. I guess we can try that. I've always been in the habit of going out to lunch as soon as I hear the bell toll. You have to go through the hotel to get there, though. I can't fly across the sea now, can I? Did you see anyone in the hotel at the time? Ernest was on the first floor, of course, but the rest was real quiet. The basement and first floor were both pretty quiet when I passed through. So Belden was on the second floor. Norman Sun was there when I came back though. Hmm. Alright. Were you really in the basement? Because we have a witness saying that you weren't. There's someone who passed through the basement right after the bell rang. According to their testimony, no one was here. That can't be right. I was right here the whole time. So we can't establish an alibi. We should probably ask around about Belden, too. Oh boy. Ah, ah, oh, oof. Right, Belden. Didn't see him around, but the bell rang. He was praying in the guest rooms at the time. Are you sure about that? Okay. Belden. Couldn't tell you. Belden. If you have real cause for us, you need to hesitate. You're welcome to confront Belden and question him. Belden? You're pretty good. <laughs> I'll, I'll take the compliment. Thank you, demon. This is kind of the first time that we've had to do something like this, though, I believe. Hmm. If we're gonna have more things like this in the future, then uh, at the very least, I guess I'll be more prepared. I didn't realize that it was just like a... Uh, well, at first I thought it was just go and ask everybody everything, and then once you have uh, Once you think you know what happened, then you go and tell Shira. But no. Actual detective work. Hmm. I did not do this quest, I remember. I see. Yeah, this is a... This is a whole thing. Where was Belden? How the hell am I supposed to know? Fuck off! Wait. Did you see Belden? No, not you. I don't know, but is he a suspect? Um... That, no, I didn't mean to do that. Let's ask Belden himself. I was underground, I was in the basement the whole time after lunch. Nope. It was in the basement. Uh. Okay, well. 
Why would I lie? You are lying, though. How do I prove that? <sighs> and then here's the thing, right? We get the new dialogue option, but, like, using that doesn't get us anywhere. So we probably have to redo a older dialogue option with somebody in order to... to then use the other dialogue option. Clean up unlocked? Yeah, we have cleaning up. Oh my god, my game is lagging. What the hell was that? Actually over? That's it? <laughs> and it, it, it doesn't give me like any indication that it, it's over? I mean, Belden's the only one who's just clearly lying, so I guess I'm just gonna guess him. How else would he know what his father was having? Once you fix on a suspect, come report to me. Okay. You have no way to tell who and how much you talk to? I mean... I guess it would be kind of cool if there was some sort of indication that, like, you had already talked to this person about this subject and it's over. You don't need to question them more. But also, like, actual detective work, yeah, you could argue that you would have to, like, figure that out on your own. And, I mean, there's uh, enough indication if you're, like, trying to follow the, uh, you know, follow the dialogue and stuff. Uh, ultimately, this is kind of one of the more tedious quests I... Honestly, I prefer, like, climbing the towers and stuff, or, like, taking a picture of being of a boss, mm, than this. Or even, like, the usual investigation stuff, where you look at all the evidence around, and then you come to a conclusion, as I said. I think those were pretty fun. Who's your suspect? Ah, uh, Belden. Raven boy, is it? You have real proof, yes? Explain the reason you discounted the original suspect. Instinct? Testimony. You heard the sound from outside. Fact. He has a solid alibi. Uh, I'm gonna say fact. Cooper was outside when the sound was heard. Norman's testimony corroborates this, so we can say for sure it's accurate. If that was the sound of the crime being committed, then there's a very small chance Cooper is the criminal. Logical. Same thing also absolves Hero of any suspicion. Hero met up with Norman, so we're sure. You can explain this suspect's crime. What kind of proof do you have? He has no alibi. The proof is his alibi. I have valuable testimony that refutes his alibi. Cooper and Hirio have already been cleared as the culprits, so... This person remains as the final possibility. It does look that way by process of elimination. That's nothing but circumstantial evidence. Do you have any more decisive proof? He knows about the special pill. I don't know if it's decisive, but... Something did bother me, and that's the testimony about the special pill. What's this about? So, Belden testified that he ate lunch on the first floor, but somehow, he saw the pail and Norman ate. He even knew that Norman barely ate it. In other words, he went to the second floor. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Alright, I'm satisfied. In this case, we'll have to call him in and hear what he has to say first. We can't go straight to an arrest with the proof we have on hand. Got it. Okay, cool. What? Why did you call me? I didn't do anything. Now calm down. Nothing's been decided here. If you can help out with the investigation, you can go home right after. Uh, help? 
Yeah, we just want you to be frank with us. Where did you go after lunch? Hmm. An in-game list that you need to fill manually, mostly? Might be interesting. Uh, kind of like what we had to do in um, I, the Somnium Files, I think is what you're suggesting, Juno. I mean, I, I think that's fine. Uh, as long as it's more of like a, I guess, streamlined experience, rather than going back and like doing all the options again. Like I said, I was in the basement. Just to warn you. As long as you keep lying, you're not getting out of here. <laughs> you weren't in the basement. We already know that. If you didn't do anything wrong, then you should be able to be honest and tell the truth. Or is the truth too scary to admit? Fine, I'll talk. Today after lunch, I went to the office. Went to go clean up. So the person who returned the plates to the front was you. Everyone seemed busy, so I figured I'd clean up. While I was cleaning up, I thought I'd tidy up the office, but I didn't think that would happen. You're not making sense. You just cleaned up after, right? Why does that have to do anything with the case? I've got an idea. Yeah, actually... What happened? I see. I understand Belden came to this room to clean, but... I'm not sure how that correlates. What does that have to do with the assault on Dells? It has a lot to do with it. Let's hear him say it himself. Did, like, a plate go flying or something? What? <laughs> yeah... Well, once I finished cleaning the room, I thought I'd head back. But since I tidied up a lot of stuff, the room was real dusty. I thought I'd open the balcony door to air it out, but... My hands were full of plates. I didn't have any choice. <laughs> so I, um, kicked the door as hard as I could. That would certainly hurt somebody if it smacked you in the back of the head. <laughs> Have you guys ever been, like, smacked in the face by a door? That freaking hurts, man. <laughs> I certainly have. Ugh. Wait, you mean the door? Yep, it's exactly what you think. That door is the criminal that knocked out Dells. The door flying open slammed right into the back of your head. In other words, the truth of the case is an unlucky accident. A glass door? Same. It was a glass door. I believe, um, the first door I ever got slammed by was the, the glass door of a locker room. <laughs> ah, yikes. Yeah. That shit hurts. <laughs> I had no choice, Your Honor. I had to kick the door. With full force, too. Not just normally. Hmm. Ran into my fair share of glass doors. Dang. Can't blame you. But, so then... I'm innocent, right? Seems like it. Oh, man, oh man. Finally free and clear. Still, what a mess. Why does the locker room have a glass door? It wasn't a see-through glass door. I forget what it's called in English. It's kind of like those, um... I don't know, like... Opaque? Doors? Gotta, like, it lets the light through, but you can't see anything through it. I don't think opaque's the right word. Hmm. So, what a mess. Why didn't you volunteer this information at the beginning? If you just told us the truth, things wouldn't have gone nearly this far. I I'm sorry. Come on, he's telling the truth now. Give him a break, okay? You have the courage to talk about it in the end, so everything worked out? He probably should have told everybody about it, or like, you know, looked for medical attention for the guy that he slammed the door into. As the victim here, I just like to forgive and forget. It's already clear this was all a misunderstanding. Of course, I'd like him to be a bit more careful opening doors in the future if he could. I'm really sorry. And you too, Cooper. You almost got turned into a criminal. You don't need to worry about me. I'm in the clear and that's good enough for me. Well, that settles things. Thank goodness. And that is our report. I'm sorry for today. Seems you've taken up a great deal of your time. We were just a big mistake. Don't worry about it. Part of the job, too. Other than part of us. Thank you guys so much. 
Really, I'm very sorry. Take care. <sighs> okay. If they do have another quest like this in the future, hopefully we'll be much better prepared. I wouldn't have dreamed it would end like that, though. Truth is always stranger than fiction. As your valued assistant, I take great pride in our completion of this most puzzling assignment. You didn't do a damn thing. But I really appreciate your help, Chloe. You give a ton of good advice. It was a big help during the investigation. I'm always happy to help. There's no need to thank me, though. Guess you two are our support staff already, huh? Indeed. We'll have you do what needs to be done. Let's head out. Next up is ice! Nice. Later, Isaac. Have a good night's rest, man. Do I need to report this? Nice. this <laughs> what <sighs> fucking hell dude you're breathtaking no you're breathtaking Isaac damn it <sighs> when could I have done this whatever all right, let's see here. Dangerous monster, Ash Saber. Uh, Orient Causeway, resistant to arts, respond with physical combat. A pill seg. Hmm. Specifically after the bridge accident before entering the academy. Uh, why? Why does it have to be such a small time frame to accept this, and then you just, just get screwed? Hmm. Sad Zero did not get to display his trails lore knowledge in a set of ten quotes. Aww. That would be kind of fun. Fuck, dude. Uh, the 100% run was kind of over ever since the first game, unfortunately. I answered, like, one question wrong during a, a quest, a side quest, so you got screwed. Hmm. Um. It's on to monster with anti venom gear. It's on the prone trail. Uh. Wait, no. This was the other one. Recruiting great gamblers. Persons competent in their gambling ability come ASAP to the first floor of the Lamentar Casino and Bar. <sighs> okay. I thought we were done. There wasn't going to be any more side quest. I guess every single time I go into um, to report anything, or honestly, I should just visit visit this place every single time I stop by. I feel like this game has had more things that have just been easily missable, <laughs> and it's such a small time frame to get to, like the how we ended up missing the first book, so now we're just kind of screwed there. And now this quest. I'm sure I'll probably end up missing another quest uh, sometime later down the line. Just from being forgetful about it or not being careful enough. Ugh. But yeah. Hmm. This game has a whole chapter side quest. <sighs> Man. <laughs> okay, maybe it's fine if we don't get to all the... I'd rather get to, like, the fun ones than, um... The last investigation, to be honest with you. Regardless, though, I think that's where we're going to call it here. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I hope you guys enjoyed your time here, and I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Later, dudes. <laughs>